What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another trading episode. This is going to be a little add-on to the to the BPL method that I have. You know where I I, uh, I buy BPL silvers for reasonably cheap in 442, 4122 and 433. Uh, I do that a lot on trading uh, while I live stream so you know I'm going to show you today uh, you know who's the best players to go for, you know what, who's the best profit you can make off each player why they're worth so much uh, and etc. So we'll start with Coates, you know, in 442 he went for 1k, I would probably say he would be worth around about 1600 to 1800 in 442. Uh, so a good bid for 1k would have been really nice there. Um, you know, he's 68 pace, he's not amazing, but a lot of people use him in like Liverpool teams, Silver BPL teams, and that's the reason he goes for quite a bit, mainly because he plays for Liverpool. Uh, and his defensive stats are pretty good. So we move on to Cruel uh, in 433. As you can see, he did sell for 3k. You can quite easily pick him up for less than 2k. I, I have done that numerous times. Uh, you know, he's a very, very good goalkeeper, and he's got a gold upgrade. He's got a gold inform. He's got a gold uh, blue card, I believe. Um, so as you can see, you know, he went to 3k. He's a silver 74 keeper who plays for Newcastle. His stats are amazing. And uh, moving on to the next one, which is pretty similar, Migdale. Uh, as you can see, his stats are absolutely unreal for a Belgian keeper who plays for Sunderland, and I believe uh, you know his stats and his nationality is the reason that he goes for so much. Uh, not not so much because of the point that he plays for uh, Sunderland, but yeah, if you pick him up for your own, uh, less than 3k and 442, I'm sure he's going to go for at least 5-2, uh, 5-2, 4-8-ish. And moving on to Dyer, we have you know. He's very, very fast, four star skills. Uh, he's a very, very good player. And he goes for around about 8k. So, uh, you know, if you could pick him up for any less than 5, I would say 5, 6k, you, uh, in a good formation, you'll be able to sell him on for uh, 8 plus, I would say. So it's a decent bit of profit. And the reason he's worth so much is basically because he's four star skills. He's got great pace and he's got great dribbling. And uh, not so much that he plays for Swansea. And he's also English, you know, a very good English player that I used in quite a few English teams. Uh, Ngog, you know, great player to make some absolute beast profit off. I I can make a lot of profit on uh, Ngogs a lot of the time. Um, you know, 84 pace, 70 shot, 72 dribbling, 72 heading. This guy has everything. Uh, he's four star skills as well. He's the only striker uh, in BPL uh, in the silver category to have four star skills. Uh, so a lot of people do go for Ngog, and that's the reason his price is so high. He's French to link with, you know, a lot of French players. And moving on to left mid, we have Rose, you know, he's a very good player for Tottenham. He's got a decent pace, I think he's 3 star skills. He goes for around about 1,800, 2,200. Ngog goes for around about uh, 5,800 in a good formation, by the way, lads. Uh, Ferdinand, I've made so much profit on. Um, you know, 71 pace, He is like, he's the number one man to go to when you want a BPL silver team. Uh, he's the best centre back, no, no doubt in my in my eyes. Uh, four three three. He would probably go for around about three thousand two hundred. Uh, so I would probably make about five hundred coins on this one, but I'm not going to bother. Um, and that's the reason he's worth so much. Tight Taylor. You know his uh, his inform has got like ninety nine free kick accuracy. This guy has got like ninety two free kick accuracy or something. So a lot of people do use him. Sorry about that. Yeah. So a lot of people do use Taylor. Uh, he he's not the fastest of characters, but he is very good. At, you know, he's very good defensive stats, uh, and he's he's just a pretty good attacker all around. And he does play for Newcastle, so he can link with Ben Arthur, um, and that's the reason he is worth about 1,400, 1,500 coins. Uh, moving on to Campbell, he is a Sunderland striker, 85 pace, 65 shot, 73 dribbling. Uh, and in 433, probably go for around about 2,400 to 2,600. He is an amazing player. And uh, the reason he goes for so much is, but you know, he's English again, he's in the BPL, and he's got a lot of pace, he's got good dribbling, and he's got an amazing shot. So moving on to the right mid uh, of, of Oxlade-Chamberlain, uh, 89 pace is pretty much the main reason, and plays for Arsenal, and very English. Uh, this is like the main reason that Oxlade-Chamberlain goes for, you know, 8k, 8K plus. I've never seen one go for cheaper in, in a really good formation. Uh, moving on to the right back, Onyanua, uh, 87 pace, but the main reason for Onyua being as much as he is is because he plays for Man City and a lot of people like to link him and downgrade uh, like Mika Richards to Onyua to get a lower star rating. Uh, so they get on you know uh, but he does his uh, he's had a transferred card over to QPR which he can still make a good amount of coins on but not as much as the city one so do keep an eye out for him 
Uh, McEachern, great player to make profit off. You know, he goes for at least 3k every time. Uh, because he's a Chelsea centre mid, basically a lot of people use him. Uh, you know, if they can't afford Lampard or, you know, SEN, they will go for McEachern a lot of the time. He's a very good player. He's got a very nice long shot on him. Uh, and, a good, and in a good formation, he can go for at least 5, uh, I'd say 4.8k-ish. Uh, Juve, who plays for Manchester United, you know, the main reason he is worth so much in, a, in good formation is because he plays for Manchester United. He's a striker, he's got 82 pace, uh, he's got very good heading, dribbling, and decent shooting. Uh, Ridgewell, absolute bomb to make profit on, you know, I make a good 3k profit per Ridgewell. 7.2k, uh, you know, 74 pace, 85 defending, uh, 85 heading, sorry, 73 defending, he's an absolute tank, you know. Him and uh, Anton Ferdinand are the best centre backs in this in this league, so a lot of people it is pretty easy to make some profit on Ridgewell and Anton Ferdinand. Heskey, put all the jokes aside, he is very very good for profit. If you can pick him up for less than 6k in a good formation, you are going to sell him for at least I'd say 9.8 to 10 plus. Uh, so he is very good profit, and I I do think the main reason is because of KSI, you know. Um, doing him up the asshole, but yeah, he is. He, uh, apparently, he's a good player, and a lot of people do like to use him, uh, just because KSI does uh, does those videos on him. Uh, Crusat, very good player to make profit off again. Um, you know, 93 pace. He's not four star skills, unfortunately, but you know that 93 pace comes in costly. He's a Spanish got Spanish player, 74 rated, and a good formation. Um, you know, he's probably going to go for at least 6.8k. Moving on to centre mid Gibson, uh, another Manchester United player is the reason he goes for so much. He does have an Everton transferred card, and you know, 70 pace, 68 shot, 78 passing. He's got a very, very amazing long shot. I have used him numerous times. He's a great player, and as you can see, McEachern, uh, uh Gibson goes for about 3,200. By the way, lads, um, McEachern, very good player. Uh, you know, very, very good player, and he's transferred card from Chelsea to Swansea. It went for quite a bit at the start, but now it only goes for around about 1,800 to 2,200, so um, that one would be a bit of a rip-off. And the last player is Makeda, who plays for United, and, you know, this is, these are all, you know, Makeda goes for a lot because he plays for Manchester United. He's got a very good shot, and he can link with Italian people like Balotelli, uh, El Shirawi, etc. He's used in quite a few teams. So yeah, lads. All these players are the reason you know I'm I trade a lot. You know uh, they do sell when when you get them for pick them up for reasonably cheap. I've told you you know who to go for now, and there shouldn't be any more questions to ask about the silver silver BPL method. So hopefully you can you know go for any of these players that I've listed here. Uh, they are you know you can make a really good bit of profit on each player. So um, hopefully I've, I've you know I've delved into it in more detail. And hopefully you don't have any more questions to ask about who to go for, how much profit you're going to make, etc. So if you've enjoyed the video and it's really helped you, give it a like. That goes, that would, you know, it helps out terrifically. Uh, and subscribe to the channel, comment, favorite, all August of floods. See you in a bit, lads, and have a great day.